Hi Aries, this is a love reading, okay? This is going to be um, how they feel about you. The central energy between you and your twin. There are some childhood trauma. There are some childhood trauma. Now, whether or not this is for the both of you, and it totally could be because the twin flame journey tends to, you tend to marry each other, whether you know it or not, or you want to believe that, okay? You tend to marry each other, which means that you tend to have similar experiences maybe one of you deal with things differently than the other does right and so it looks like your your divine masculine definitely dealt with things they dealt with their childhood trauma totally different than you which is everybody has their own experience right so there is no right or wrong there's just clarity out here so this person i feel like there's a shared energy of like some form of childhood trauma some sort of like unstable family environment or a lack of feeling secure within the home or receiving the love and support from family as a child or feeling loved or whatever that is, right? It's going to show up differently for all of you. I feel like it definitely showed up differently with your divine masculine twin than it did for the divine feminine. Okay, because this foundation energy here, which is about family, feeling secure and safe, this came out in reverse. This came out in reverse um, and it's sitting underneath pain, literally. It's, you know, you know what I'm saying? Apprehension and being afraid and being cautious. I feel like um, the, the energy between you and this person, you may have experienced or this could have been you. All right. I'm not judging. I'm just saying um, there was someone here who didn't really show their feelings or their emotions. This person may have concealed how they felt. They could have kept secrets from you. They didn't really show you the real them for whatever reason. And I really feel like part of that reason has something to do with because this person did not get a stable foundation or a secure loving foundation or they experienced some form of like maybe they came from a broken home. Maybe they had a lack of a parent, right? Or a presence of a particular parent because I see one child here with one parent, right? And they're like on this road alone. So maybe your person had a single mother or single father and there was an absent presence of that other parent in the home that really affected your child's, <clears throat> them as a child, and also the other parent who had to struggle and take care of this child. The, the lack of the support that this other parent did not get. This parent did the best that they could, but ultimately it did create some form of instability within that child right ignore alexa talking right now she's reminding me to do something sorry you know this person like i was saying i feel like this is why they hid their emotions from you or they wore a mask right or they were they could have even worn this mask and didn't even share with you the pain that they were experiencing or the things that they went through as a child maybe they didn't know maybe they didn't know uh, maybe they were not aware. I think they're definitely aware now. Um, and the reason I say that is because, or you're aware now, because this open heart is here. It's like, you know, this person felt abandoned, um, alone or lonely, or just they feel left out. They felt like they definitely struggle with abandonment issues. And I feel like, again, that's partly because of what somebody experienced when they were a, a child, okay? Or something they experienced within their family, okay? Within their family dynamic or family unit here. Now this person is, is, is understanding, okay, I wasn't, I didn't share my emotions and my feelings. I didn't deal with them. I didn't heal. I concealed how I felt. I was not receptive to anybody's idea um, or opinions. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. I was not vulnerable because I was scared. I was afraid. Um, and because the last time I was honest and I was my true self and I was open and I was vulnerable, I was taken advantage of, right? I feel like that caused your person quite a lot of pain but I feel like now they're realizing this and now they want to be more open they're learning how to how to deal with this um they're because I say that because the releasing energy is here 
he's like, now someone's letting go. They're moving on. They, they're walking away from this type of being afraid and apprehensive and being cautious and thinking somebody's going to hurt them or that their past, they're still in this never ending story of this, how they were victimized as a child or they didn't get the love and the security and the foundation that they really needed growing up as a kid. You know, I feel like this person was abandoned quite a bit, maybe left out. For some of y'all, you're dealing with somebody here who's a, a sheep's, uh, not a sheep, but the black sheep of a family. Maybe this is you. You identify as being the black sheep of the family here. For some of you, I think like this person had to release certain people in their in their life or they're now realizing they're going to have to release and let go of certain things so that they can be more vulnerable and heal. The reason why I say that is because your divine masculine wants to reconcile with you. On their side, the first card out was literally the Ace of Cups. Okay, the, the, and this is, I asked your spirit guides, how are they currently feeling about the divine feminine twin? Okay, they feel like a, a number of things, right? Because this Ace of Cups isn't just about reconciliation. It's not just about a new fresh start in love. Although I feel like they definitely want that with you because I'm going to show you this next card that came out following this ace of cups which just was kind of like oh okay this makes total sense right um and they feel like they want to reunite with you they want a fresh start they want to open up right because remember we saw that open heart i really feel like this is the divine masculine now they're ready to be receptive and vulnerable with you right i think you were open with them from the very beginning there is someone here who was not Okay, um, the Ace of Cups is also about them. I think they feel like you are on your own self self care journey. You're on your self worth journey. You know who you are. You're showing yourself a lot of love, and they. I feel like this person has learned this about uh, learned from you or seen you show this person examples of how to treat yourself by how you treated yourself and this person is like i want to be in that same energy too and so that may have triggered something in them to realize this right so not only do they want to reconcile with you but they want to come back and apologize to you page of cups okay some of you guys could be dealing with the cancer pisces or a scorpio here um and the reason i say that too strongly is because or somebody has water in their chart because on your divine feminine side is the king of cups but the king of cups on your side and how you feel about them is they're showing up as a distorted masculine they're in the reverse so ace of cups page of cups energy they want to talk to you, reconcile with you, but they feel like you are guarding, you're guarding yourself, you're standing your ground, you may not want to talk with them, you may not want to communicate with them, they feel like you don't want to hear in their excuses, you don't want to hear the drama, you don't want to hear any more excuses, you know, so you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your energy. Some of you all may physically have this person blocked with this seven of wands energy. This is like, I'm going to protect my space. I'm going to protect my energy. I'm going to do what I can to take care of me. This is how they feel about you. Okay. They want to apologize to you also for feeling so guarded, being so guarded and not being vulnerable with you also. They're really thinking about that. They, they're realizing the guardedness, the seven of wands energy stemmed from this four of wands energy, which is their home, right? Their security, their stability, or the lack thereof. And when they were a child or within their family dynamic, like I said, now the four of wands again is this person knows for sure that you are their twin flame, by the way. Because this is the 11-11 Twin Flame card here. They want to reunite with you. They want a stable new beginning with you. Um, they may even want commitment with you. They see a future with you. They're heartbroken and torn. With The wheel is here. Okay. And the wheel is about good karma moving forward. Um, they may have felt like you moved on to your good karma and you're successful and you've abandoned them and left them out in the cold and now they are heartbroken. Now they are heartbroken. You could be dealing with Libra uh, with the will energy here. This is Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. So they could be one of those signs or you could be one of these signs. <sighs> this person's heartbroken and sick and sad and, and very like, geez, like, 
they can't believe that you won't talk to them. They are upset that you are protecting your energy here. They feel like an apology is not going to be enough that you've just moved on here. But they do want to reconcile. They do want a new beginning with this Ace of Cups and this Four of Wands and this Page of Cups and this Wheel. They do. This person sees the cycles that they've repeated in their lives and they're doing everything they can to let go and move on from that because they don't really want to be in this pain anymore. They don't want to be in this apprehensive, low vibrational energy. They really want to be in this energy of being open, giving, receptive. They want to be vulnerable like they really do. And I'm not like just saying this and taking up or, or taking sides or whatever. I'm just telling you what I see out here. You know, but they feel abandoned by you and they're heartbroken and left out in the cold. This person is realizing that they may have, like I said, remember I said earlier, per this person wore a mask. Look at this mask energy. They're regretting the smoke and mirrors. They're regretting the illusions that they projected onto you. They're realizing those were illusions and projections is what I'm getting here. Now, let's move on to your, if you resonate with the divine feminine energy here, you see this person, which is so, I love this because you show up in your own reading, divine feminine. This shows me that you are a little bit ahead of your divine masculine because you feel like this is you showing up in your own re reading. You're, I feel like you're happy. You, um, you know, have moved on without them, but you feel like this king cups in reverse. You love this person. But you know who you are, but you also know who they are. You know they are the, they are distorted masculine. You know they have some healing to do showing up as the king of cups in reverse. You know that this person has some childhood wounds here with the sun card being here. You've realized that, right? I feel like that was revealed to you. Um, and, and the reason I say that it has something to do with childhood wounds is because the sun card also has two children on this in this deck. You could be dealing with a Leo. You don't have to be. Some of you all might be dealing with a Leo, a Cancer, a Scorpio, like I said, Libra. But you know this person had a, had a lack of being open and vulnerable. For some of y'all, this person may even lack empathy. The King of Cups in Reverse can sometimes be borderline sociopathic or just someone who just does not see things from anybody else's perspective than their own because they were victimized, okay? And I'm not saying the victimization wasn't real. What happened to them wasn't real and they didn't deserve it because they did not. The Divine Masculine did not deserve this. But, you know, you feel like this person has, that's been a blockage that's gotten in their way and they have not been able to overcome this. Um, you feel like this person really loves attention, um, chariot in the page of wands. You feel like this person just kind of walked away from you and went towards something else and they haven't changed. They refuse to change. They refuse to, you felt, you felt like, or you feel like, right, this could be past energy or current energy here too, um, that this person is just refusing to change their ways. For some of you all, this person could be a player, you know, with the Page of Wands energy. They could be a younger uh, fire sign or a younger Cancer or a younger Scorpio. They don't have to be. For some of you all, you may have gotten pregnant from this person or you have children from them and they may have just left. They may have abandoned you. Um, yeah, I don't, you know, and, and it's like the page of wands and the tower is here. You know, the, the tower in reverse is like somebody here refusing to change, not seeing the bigger picture. Um, just not growing, not healing. So I feel like you have decided, Divine Feminine, in this situation of dealing with this connection to just work on yourself. Bottom of the day. This is your deck. The the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like, okay, you are saying to yourself, Divine Feminine, I'm going to work on me because the Eight of Pentacles is about self 
uh, mastery, right? This is about you. I'm going to do what I can, work on my career, work on my money, work on my craft, whatever it is you guys are doing. You're perfecting it. You're getting good at it. You're in this beautiful energy with the Empress and the Sun here and the Chariot. It's like you're moving on, overcoming obstacles. You're, you're, you're standing fully in, in your power and you're manifesting. Could be manifesting something new. Okay. Um, and I feel like if when if and when this new stuff comes in for you, your person's gonna come back and maybe even try to fight for you, or there may be some conflict or some drama happening in the background when that does occur here. But I think your person is unsure and uncertain and confused right now. They really are because one, they're afraid you're gonna reject them if they come back and make this offer because they know what they did right they know what they did they they were for some of you all they were shallow okay this person is this is like four cups energy right with this um unhappy with their lives like they're they're not happy they're confused they they have these blinders on or something right although i do feel like they 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 this person feels mistaken this divine masculine feels like they're a lost soul. They feel like people don't understand who they truly are. They feel misunderstood and they know they have made mistakes in the past. <sighs> Operating out of ego because they didn't feel safe and secure from a situation that occurred a while ago is the point that I'm saying. For some of you all, this person may feel like they are just sworn to bad luck or they're hexed or this could be ancestral curses. This could be, uh, uh, you know them needing to heal some form of ancestral um, pain, right? Um, you know, I think this person's going through a lot of troubles and turmoil in their life. And I think a lot of this is karma for the way they treated other people. Let's just keep it real. Um, it, they did. And now they're just like... <sighs> This person's distant from you. There could you could live at a distance from this person. You could live in a different city from them. Okay, here there's definitely a separation between you, whether that's emotional or physical. There's definitely a blockage, especially with the seven of wands being here, like I was telling you earlier. Again, for some of you all, this is the blockage and the pain that this person, you know caused right you may physically have blocked this person from communicating with you and they want a new space they want to try again they want to start over that's this ace of cups and page of cups but they just feel like they're going to be rejected they just feel like wait can you see that they just feel like they're going to be rejected here new beginning try again um <laughs> The reason I'm saying that, because the next card here for beginnings is, guess what? Divine Masculine, okay? This Divine Masculine wants a new beginning with you again. They want to start over. They want to be loyal to you. They want to offer, like, be reliable with you because they were not reliable with you in the past. They want to believe that they can do better and be better. They're hoping that you'll trust them. You know, <laughs> for some of you all, this is there's a dog here. Maybe you have a golden retriever um, or you have a dog or a mix, a collie mix or something. I don't know what this is. I think this is a golden retriever. Whatever. It could be a dog that looks like this. Adorable dog. Or they maybe you two owned a dog together or you could be a pet lover here. Or they may want to gift you a pet because this pet has a flower this energy came out um, of your divine masculine wanted to apologize to you and make a peace offering by like buying you a pet, which is weird as shit. I don't know. So maybe they know you're a dog lover and you've always wanted like a particular breed or something. That's not for everybody here. But I feel like this person's loyalty got in the way. Them being loyal to you got in the way of them. Their loyalty to you got in the way their pride and ego. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> they allow their pride and their ego to get in the way of them being loyal to you. You know, just this low vibrational energy. That's King of Cups in reverse. 
you know, somebody who's just closed off, arrogant, stubborn, you know, some, and now this person is going through like a lot of upheaval in their life, some drama, you know, they're going through a lot of emotional turmoil here. They've been deeply affected by this separation and now they're going through a dark night of the soul energy and, and they're clinging on to the past. Remember, they're trying to release and let go, but I feel like this has been a very, very stressful journey here. You see how they're obsessing, they're spying, they're looking, looking you up. They're really thinking about you. They could be asking other people about you. Um, now, this also definitely could be more energy of them like thinking about the past and how they got here. This person's when they're when they're home alone by themselves, they think about this. They think about how their actions have affected you. They, they want to let go and move on. They feel like you've let go and moved on and it might be too late. I'm telling you, this person is experiencing stress after stress. They're, they could be arguing with their family members or friends. If this person has somebody else, they could be arguing with that person. Their life is very turbulent. Uh, for some of you, they could be going through some form of stress or dealing with financial issues. They definitely feel just like overwhelmed with a lot of different obligations. This is like Ten of Wands energy, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They just are very stressed out. They're they're trying to figure out what it is that they've got to do to get themselves out of this situation so they don't have to continue to go through this again. So they are trying to do what they can to nourish themselves or they feel like you abandoned them to go take care of your own self. But now they're like, oh shit, I've got to take care of me and do what I need to do to get myself out of this situation. <sighs> Yeah, they know that they are repeating karmic patterns and learning these lessons over and over again. They're exhausted from this shit. They're depleted. They're drained. Like literally this person is depleted and drained. They've done this over and over and over. And it's like even though this person continues to can make, keep making these decisions, their intuition is leading them down a different path. But they're still choosing to still be in this behavior or make these decisions. Now they're realizing this. They're like, I want peace. I want peace. I want balance. They they want to bring more peace into the situation between the two of you. But it's like you set boundaries and you don't, you drew the line and you said enough is enough. You didn't want anything else to do with them, with this boundaries energy. So now they want to apologize. That's that Ace of Cups, Page of Cups energy. They're ready to return. They're obsessively watching you and thinking about you. I'm telling you, this these this this divine masculine is, has been watching you heavily. They've been watching you heavily. I'm definitely get, telling you they've been watching you heavily and they haven't said anything to you yet, divine feminine, because they are afraid you're going to reject them. And it, this is it. I, they might feel like they're might, they're going to get dismissed. You may not even um, be in the energy of, of rejecting them. This could just be some something they're making up in their head. This irrational fear. They're hopeless. This person is falling apart and craving you and missing you physically. They're going through some form of awakening right now, an epiphany. I'm telling you. This person in the past, well, I feel like they were, um, you know wishy-washy they weren't really direct with you they may have been hot and cold in and out like they never really gave you one gave it 100 percent collective is what i'm getting here because they were closed up right they were blocked their emotions kept them from being able to do this they definitely feel like you walked away and this is it you left them behind they really truly do so they feel like all they have now is just to continue to spy on you maybe ask about you look you up on facebook or instagram whatever that is but i'm telling you this person is gonna continue continue to watch you here and spy on you okay twin flame energy here coming out for some of y'all this person is um you know attached to somebody else like i said or their outside influences like again family members friends whoever you know they just allow certain things to get into the way um but they've got to heal from this and release this and purge these people for some of you they have to release and purge uh, somebody else that they're with that could be a soulmate here
they could be in a soulmate for some of you all this is not for everybody right i feel like um this person has something that they need to let go of that's been a negative influence in their life I, they, they just gotta let it go because they say releasing purging and cleansing influences is is came out before that with third party peers attachments distracted this person was distracted and sidetracked they were detoured when they chose to go back to or be with this other person they weren't supposed to be with it delayed them on their path it delayed them on their path they got distracted they got distracted by someone in their energy who was dishonest with them lied to them manipulated them too or you know um yeah it's not you see what I'm saying? And so I feel like they chased this person, which is this. They I feel like they really chased this this energy, right? They chased the thrill. They chased the good time. They chased the excitement, which did not work out well for them. And that's how you feel because the reason I say that is because the chariot card, the page of wands, and the tower in reverse came out. It's the same energy. It's similar energy. I'm going to pick it up and show you. This is them chasing the thrill, going off to, to chase excitement, fun, and and have a good time, be in their ego. And then when they went back to it, it was like, well, it didn't work out what good for you, did it? You're in the same cycle. Chasing this ecstasy. <laughs> yeah, this person is getting karma. You hear me? Karma. Now they're seeing the cause and effect of this, the consequences of, the, of these decisions. They're understanding this emotionally. Oh, man. They took a risk and ran towards the wrong po point, and now they're at the, a breaking point, the last straw, and they are very overwhelmed and conflicted, I'm telling you. They know they, they got some, some sort of choice to make, and and that's just what it is. Let's pull a couple twin flame cards here, messages from our divine twin flame. Um, this is the or the twin flame oracle from Intuit. Okay. If you guys are interested, show me messages here for the collective twin flame. Well, that was a pretty in depth reading. Looks like I see some growth happening here from your divine masculine, which is good. We want them to grow. There goes this karmic ties wants to pop out so bad. This person I'm telling you has some karmic lesson and karmic ties with somebody else. Past lives are influencing our connection. I've lost you in other lifetimes and that makes me afraid. I need to heal the grief to allow love to bloom. Okay, so... This person could be dealing with past life karma. I miss you. Let's both stop running away. Look at that. Wow. This person wants to communicate with you. It says, when our conversations are lighthearted and playful, it eases the tension that is sometimes there when we talk. Interesting. So this person wants to just have a lighthearted conversation with you. I feel like they really don't want to try to take it too deep. Maybe they didn't take things deep enough last time. You know what I mean? They tried to keep things surface level with you and they regret that. 11-11. Um, oh, wow. We are coming into union. Look at that. So you've got the four of wands out here. The 11-11 card. And you have this four of wands here. Wow. Major energy, you guys. I don't know. It says, I feel a bad abandoned. I often feel like others let me down. This is a pattern that this person has to work through, right? That's that lack of stability, security. You know, they're in this, uh, this that's that abandonment energy here, right? That's that pain that they've got to let go. Thank you, spirit guys. Let's get two more. Two more messages here for the collective. Okay, I got three. We're going to stop there. All right, we have, I'm praying you'll come back to me after everything that's happened between us. I worry that you won't forgive me and allow me another chance. Yeah, and we know that. We've already talked about this, right? We have, 
Oh, here we go. I'm going through a dark night of the soul. Yeah, they are. We talked about that, you guys. Nothing in my life is making sense. It, yeah, they're struggling right now. So send them healing, love, and light and energy. Even if you're not talking to them and you don't want to reconcile and you have moved on, you, you have free will to do that. It says, I feel energy merging. I feel our energy merging together as if it has a life of its own. We are becoming one. This person still feels your energy here. Um, they feel magnetically drawn to you. They think about you all the time, nonstop. They're obsessing over you. They're watching you. They dream about you. And this person just is, is struggling. So just send them some love and light. All right. Zodiac signs we have here again, as far as majors, um, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer. We have the wheel here, with the, which is Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. And let's pull some signs. We have Taurus again. Capricorn here. Um, Capricorn again. Virgo. Aries. Who is this? Leo. And Pisces. Okay, so you could be any of those signs or be dealing with those signs, somebody who has that in their chart or that's in your chart. So hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if these readings gave you some clarity.